harvesting his sugarcane crop in Sonda village, this farmer recalls the promises made by Prime Minister Narendra Modi when he rode a populist wave to victory five years ago. He has shown us many false dreams. He promised to double prices for our produce. We never got anything. Despite being disillusioned, he still plans to cast his vote for Modi's Bharatiya Janata Party because he sees no viable option. Growing rural discontent due to plunging farm incomes is blamed for electoral setbacks for the BJP in three state elections in December. But the party hopes a recent measure to give $85 annually to farmers with small plots will revive support. It has promised to expand the cash handouts to all farmers. The payments have pleased those who have already gotten their first installment. At least we will be able to pay for fertilizers and water. Before, what I earned was spent on paying for inputs like these. In the city of Meerut, where Modi launched his 2019 campaign, many like Siddharth Vats are fired up by the leader who ordered airstrikes on what India said was a militant camp inside Pakistan in February. There is improvement in India. Our economy is developing. During recent hostilities with Pakistan, he took a tough stand. This is happening only because of Modi. But others question his record. Mujahid Mansouri worries about rising sectarian violence by cow vigilantes targeting Muslims and feels that Modi failed to live up to his 2014 pledge to create more jobs. We need food on our table for our family. We need jobs. We don't want anything to do with a polarized environment. In these towns and villages, there is support for Modi. The latest poll predicts he will win 50 out of the state's 80 parliamentary seats, still nothing like the 71 seats he captured in 2014. An alliance between two powerful regional parties in Uttar Pradesh has made the contest tougher, but political analysts say the BJP hopes to ride back to power on Modi's image. Whether he gets a majority is the question mark. But yes, there are people who want to give him another ta term and more time uh, because they look at him as a person who can deliver, a strong leader, a leader uh, able to take risks. So let's see, uh, let's see. But it's a very polarized country today. The direction that voters swing in big heartland states like Uttar Pradesh will determine the outcome of India's election. Anjana Pasricha for VOA News, Uttar Pradesh.